everyone, this is Amal OS with hashtag WonderMinute. It's October already, and as a full-time open sourcer, I'm celebrating open source. In the 31 days of October, if you contribute five times open source, awesome folks from DigitalOcean, GitHub, and this year to you as well, in the event of Hacktoberfest, help you celebrate open source. They gift you this awesome swag that you can wear with pride. That is the t-shirt I got in 2016, and this one is from the last year. Well, open source is really open for everyone. You can be a developer, designer, or even a content writer. You can contribute to documentation of an open source project and whatnot. I'm super excited to teach you how you can start contributing to open source. Well, first things first, go to github.com, fill this form, and create a GitHub account. After that, go to hectoberfest.digitalocean.com, click here on the details to read all about how you can participate in Hectoberfest. Create five pull requests in any GitHub hosted repository, and you are set for good. When you are done reading the details, go ahead and sign up. Click on the register now button, and then connect your GitHub account to the Hectoberfest site. Since I have already done it, this is what it looks like. Now go ahead and start searching for an open source project that you would like to contribute to. For example, here's a WBGull project from me. First thing you need to take a look at is maybe that project has a contributing file. Inside the contributing.md file, you will find the details on how you can contribute to the project. Some projects have this file, others don't. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to contribute to this JavaScript-based static site generator called Poodle. I'm going to fix this badge and maybe highlight this word Poodle. So the first thing you need to do is click on this fork button. What's happening here is GitHub is actually creating a copy of this repository on your account. As you can see, from Batul slash Poodle to Ahmedavas slash Poodle. So now that I have fork this repository, I can click this button, click here to copy this link, and now I'm going to clone this repository. Git clone, and then the repository thing. CD to Poodle folder, and open this folder in your editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, which is also an awesome open source editor. Inside the readme.md file, I'm going to fix this thing. I think this should be B, maybe a right arrow here, with a space which is equal to percentage 20. And then maybe I think this word put it in back text. In Visual Studio Code, you can go here and type a git message. Or you can go to your terminal and git add everything and commit a message, fix the badge. After that, run the command of git push. After that, let's open our fork. I am inside my fork of Poodle. As you can see, this branch is two commits ahead. So now I'm going to click on this pull request link. Now it is comparing master branch of my tool with master branch of my fork. And these are the changes I made. Click on this green button create pull request. I'm going to add title here, documentation improvements and badge fix. You can explain your pull request here by typing in markdown or simple text. You can add a GIF here and whatnot. After that, click on create pull request. And there you have it. You have successfully created your first pull request. If you go back to hectoberfest.digitalocean.com and sign in, now you can check your progress. I for one have already completed the Hectoberfest challenge, but you will be able to see your pull request here and your progress here. Make sure you do the five pull requests in this month and start contributing to open open source. You will also find a lot of other Hacktoberfest projects that you can contribute to. Hacktoberfest is more about open source than this swag. So make sure you enjoy while you are contributing to open source and use your code for good.